What is up ladies and gentlemen? This is a let's play video on a little game I like to call Alan Wake. I'm sure y'all have heard of it. It's been out for a while. Um, I'm new to this game. I haven't played it. We're going to start off fresh with a new game. We're going to get right into it. And it looks like we're not going to be able to play Nightmare, which is a kick in the balls. So we're going to have to rock out on normal for the time being. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. Hey, it's a lighthouse. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. That's why you don't drink and drive. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Alright, looks like we're gonna get right into it. Not gonna reverse that horse shit. I've seen the light. It's a little creepy. Of course, it had to be dark. Hey, another street light. Ooh, that's blinding me. Okay, we're not gonna do that. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Um, it's like a little, uh, be like a little hike here. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? <clears throat> you think you can just make up stuff? All right, that's what I'll play with me. people's lives. A lot of you know you think it adds to the drama. <clears throat> you're in this story now, and I'll make you. Holy shit! Run! Jump! You missed your deadline. Um. Damn. You can't stop me! Dodge the attack? Oh! Missed. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. My story's coming to life. Well, isn't that just fucking pee How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Yep, officially getting the hell out of here. Run, motherfucker, run! Alright, that's not cool. Um, yeah, I don't even know if this is the right way. Whoa! Is that a trash can? This way, this way! Hey, who 
who is he? Is he possessed too? I don't know. Hurry! I'm running! Damn. Oh, and I can be activated across just in time. It's me! They scored, remember? No, I don't. Get me shine! It's your time to lose! Give me your gun. Shoot him! Not that it's gonna do anything, but... No! God damn it, die! Shot no! him in the balls. No! <laughs> Alright. We made eye contact. I was trapped. There was no way out. Beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. That. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The oh, there he is again. has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Okay, only thanks. light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. A flashlight, really? Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Oh. Burn the fuck out of him. He ain't dead yet. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Give me a gun. Now you'll die. I shot him in the head. God. It's good. Ammo. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Alright, I guess I'm going to the lighthouse. You made me this way, and now I'm going Oh, he's back again! Shoot his bitch ass! That's right. This is it! Oh no. Oh my god, he just missed me. 
me with that axe. I'm just going to make a dash for it. Run! You're dead just like me. Okay, there's three of them. Okay, insert a battery. What the hell is this thing? A vibrator? Oh, now they just, just like me. There's a headshot multiplier on this. He's gonna run! Oh my god, oh my god. There's the lighthouse. Go, go, go. Rather not, thank you. I actually like living. I can keep this up forever! Um. Okay then. I will be going this way. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Oh my god. Um. God, no, I'm right there. Go, go. Uh, is that like a tornado or something? I don't know. Light. Me in. I'm safe. I'll be staying in here for the rest of the game. happened. He's here. Wait, who's here? Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's Was all fine. a dream? Are you he kidding me? Off. Right. And what is this, Mario 2? News for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. You're not so bad yourself, toots. Bright Falls. All right. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Maybe a booty call, too. Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation! Yeah! Are you serious? That's your old Coconut grants. Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. 
it does that, get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. All right, what do I do, kick it? Okay, I'm pretty sure I just hit the A button there. Oh, okay, there you go. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! Old timer music. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. I pick up a thermos. Okay, I, got, I apparently got to collect a hundred of those. Who she's spying on? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Okay. Just a restaurant, lady. No need to freak the fuck out now. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Right now you should be asking yourself, how the hell did she just appear out of nowhere? And why is he, uh... Okay with that. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Is it now? I think I'll be the judge of that. Right, apparently I gotta leave the diner. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I met your sister this in there. This ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Hey, Mr. Wake. Just in time. Here she is. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. I better stock up on those. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Forgot the keys? Are you serious? That diner was a real nut house. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Badman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. See those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark Oh, what a nice here, little place. Light your way. What bad could possibly happen here? It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Yeah, you Don't are. worry. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Cabin. Hey. Open the lock with a key I don't have. Oh, maybe I do have it. Alright. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. 
Let's go, shall we? There. We need luck. Wait, where is it? Oh, I just had it. A shoebox oh. filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. You call yourself a writer. Alan, I'm upstairs. Oh, okay. I have a you're... surprise for you. Oh, you're naked. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. It's in the study? Take it, this is it. Surprise! Alice? What is this? It's called I a guess typewriter. I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that. That's not- Alan? There goes the generator. Alan? Oh, wait, I, I, I don't, saw that. Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Alice? Okay. Heaven had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Come in. Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming! Oh my it's alright! I'm coming! Alright. What the hell? That didn't scare me at all. Help me! Come in! Alan! No! No! Ah! Getting late, Alice? Ah! Alice? Oh no! I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Surprise it worked in the first place. Um... Yeah, I think I missed something here. Oh, I can examine something. All right. Oh, of course, this way. Right. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. That's not terribly bad. Fall again, though. Damn. Take it, my car, my Lincoln, is destroyed. Yeah, that's still a freaking drop there. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Hello? Oh, more light. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. I 
make a mad dash to this gas station here. Anybody there? Please! Like I've been in an accident! Away. Checkpoint reached. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Thank God. Just gonna hike up this tree here. <laughs> what the hell's that? Anybody there? Please! Hey! Oh wait, he don't look friendly. Hey, you! Fail! There's been an accident! I need help! Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. Yeah, Carl he's not friendly at all. Ducky! Pleased to meet you. Oh, there you are, finally. Reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh. And square. Um... And what I, I take it I gotta kill him? Where the hell did he go? I don't want to know to be honest. Hey, what did he do? He just murdered that guy in cold blood. Second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, how convenient. A gun. And a flashlight. During your trying it's phone, call the police. Yes. In Roman! Hello? Hello? Oh, well that's not exactly what I wanted to happen. I think the term I'd like to use is uh pumped. Um, is that a fucking bulldozer? Yes? Oh my fucking god, no. Holy shit. What the hell? Oh my god, no, oh my god. Did he just shit? Where is he at? What hit me? Uh, well, that's one way to uh, hit me out of the uh, house. Not exactly what I would have done, but... The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. One can only hope. Um, I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta kill these guys quickly. Quickly. Okay, now I can just shoot his ass. Hey, buddy! Oh! Blinded. Headshot. Get some. Get some. I hit Bounty with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. I think it was already dead. They just disappeared. If I was <laughs> dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. A flare gun. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. What do I do with this fucking flare gun? Do I sh shoot it off? It's pretty. Oh, okay. I guess that's what you don't do.
Alright, well, I'm gonna have to stop here, guys. Um, while I figure out where to go, I will get back to you guys in part two of this episodic saga that we call Alan Wake. Alright, see you guys in the next one.